The new Mojo programming language is supposedly 35,000 times faster than Python while maintaining backwards compatibility and having similar syntax. I just got access to the playground, so let's put that to the test. First, let's do a simple calculation of pi. No, not that kind of pi. We'll use the Leibniz formula for pi, which basically adds up a bunch of numbers, then multiplies it by four. So here's the Python code for it. We're importing time, which we'll use to time our function. We have a function pi, which takes an n, and it's basically just a for loop that sums up all the numbers numbers together and then multiplies it by four. And we use time here to get the start time and the end time and then return end time minus start time. So let's see how fast it is for Python. It took roughly five seconds. Now let's try Mojo. So it's very similar. To import time, we're going to use python.import module time. This is how you can import any module from Python. And here's our function pi. And you'll notice the only real difference is that we are defining types ahead of time. This is called static typing. So we have int for n, float literal is what we return, float literal is total. And the other difference is that we also define if variables are constants or not. This is similar to JavaScript let and var. So let means this time cannot be changed, var total means it can be changed. Now let's make sure we're in the right kernel here and let's run this code. And we see that it only took 0.11 seconds, which is a 50x improvement over Python. And we didn't really do any crazy optimizations. Okay, example two is matrix multiplication in Mojo. This is the example provided by Modular and it's pretty amazing. So matrix multiplication is basically when you have two matrices and you multiply the elements from one and the other into a third matrix. So we have matrix C, which is our third matrix, matrix A first and matrix B our second. And we just go through all of the rows, all of the columns, all of the columns and do the multiplication here. And here's how they do the testing. And here is the actual benchmarks. So let's run it and let's see what we get. So it did 0 0.002 gigaflops. Gigaflops is a unit for measuring billions of floating point operations per second. Okay, so let's import the Python implementation to Mojo. The code is literally the same thing here. Like there's no difference at all. And now let's run the actual benchmark and see what we get. And so we get 0 0.029 gigaflops, which is a 13x speed up over Python. And literally we did that with no significant effort. So now if we add types, so we use a struct, we use some static typing, and again, it's the same code, except now C, A, and B have this matrix type. And let's actually run the benchmark and see what we get. So we got 3.13 gigaflops, which is a 1400 times speed up over Python. And that is with just adding static typing. Now we can also optimize it even more if we do some vectorizing, we do some parallelizing, and if we do some tiling, let's not get into the super nitty gritty here, but if you do a bunch more optimization, you can actually see that the speed up here is 14,000 times over Python. That is absurdly fast. So yeah, Mojo is legit. Subscribe for more videos like this one and smash that like button.